Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create motion trails in After Effects. So, the first thing that you need to do is create a new composition. And once you've created your new composition, um, create a text layer. And um, we're going to change the font size so that it's a little bit bigger. And we're also going to change the color to be gray, something like that. And now we're going to align the text layer to the center. And as you can see, we need a background, so we're going to create a new um, solid. And it's going to be white, and let's just rename it to background. Okay, and we're going to put it underneath our um, text layer. So we're going to animate the position of our text layer. So press B and that's going to show um, the position property. So right here at, let's see, maybe the 15th frame, we want our text layer to be right here. And then right here at the beginning, we want our text layer to be um, up there. And then right here at the end, um, 15 frames before the ending, we want the text layer to be there and at the end we want the text layer to be um, all the way down there. So right now we've got an animation that looks like that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to easy ease these keyframes um, by selecting them and pressing F9 and then we're going to select the first two keyframes and we're going to open up the graph editor and we're just going to adjust the velocity. Um, we're going to make the animation um, really um, fast right here at the beginning and then it's going to gradually slow down. So we're going to make a ramp like this. And then we're going to do the same thing at the ending but um, opposite. So we want this animation to start slowly and then gradually increase. So now you can close the graph editor and we can take a look at this animation. So now we can make the motion trail. Um, we're going to duplicate our text layer and we're going to rename this text layer to motion trail. And we're going to put it underneath the original um, text layer. Now click on the effects and presets tab and search for echo and then apply this effect to the motion trail layer. So now if we take a look at this um, we'll see that we have an echo of our original text layer and it looks pretty bad. So we're going to adjust these settings um, right here. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the echo operator to composite and back. Um, and then we're going to change the number of echoes. Um, let's see, maybe something around 25. And it still looks really bad. So the main thing that we need to adjust is the echo time. We're going to change it to minus 0.001. And as you can see, we've got a nice looking echo. And the only thing that's left to do is to change um, the color of the motion trail text layer. So change it to basically whatever you want. I'm going to use this kind of a green color for the motion trail. And that's it. As you can see, we have made the motion trail that we wanted. But there's still one problem. As you can see, there are these small green lines surrounding our text layer. So to fix that, um, we're going to go to the 15th frame. We're going to select the motion trail layer and we're going to press Ctrl Shift D to split it. Then we're going to move 15 frames before the ending, which is right here. We're going to press Ctrl Shift D to split the motion trail layer again. And then we're going to delete this layer that's um, left right here in the middle. 
And as you can see, now if I zoom in, there's no green line around our text layer. So that's it for this tutorial. Please check out my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.